Surf's up. Democrats in California are trying to cancel hard work. Here's well, before I proceed, I want to point out that I really don't understand where this four-day work week idea came from. This idea comes around while I was a Zeitgeist movement supporter years ago, which most people were against because everybody feared technological automation as nobody understood that the resource-based economy was pure technological automation. Everybody was fallaciously dismissing it as communism, while the RBE was non-human labor and non-authoritarian. I've, dis I've distanced myself from this movement as Donald Trump's presidency shined light on just how insane many people in the world are. Anyway, um... Already pa I'm pausing this. How is anybody trying to cancel hard work? What does decreasing time at work have to do with the level, the extremity of work being done? Why do you want everybody committing themselves to working hard? Do you and these other people on this panel work hard? I guess, yeah, panel, I guess, would be the proper word. What would you describe hard work as? It's our idea. State reps are proposing a four-day work week for companies with more than 500 employees. That's right. They're proposing shortening your office work week from 40 hours to just 32 hours. But get this part. Your salary stays the same. <laughs> so it's 32 hours of work for 40 hours of pay. And if you want to work more than 32 hours, you have to get paid time and a half for overtime. And remember, this is happening in the midst of an alarming labor shortage in America. Employers cannot find workers. There's somewhere around 10 million jobs unfilled in this country. Okay, how is this any of your concern or business? What does that shortage you mentioned have to do with anything? Who are you, who are you to criticize people for demanding less hours or days at work? And why is that wrong? Right now, are they lazy, this generation judge? Is that what it is? Or, or have they figured out Life is short. We've been taught to work so hard. You waste your whole life working. You could be taking it easy and get uh, overtime. Okay, let me tell you what's going to happen. If you're in a country... <laughs> Either way, who are you or anybody there to criticize these lay people? Those are the only two reasons. While I would, while I would agree laziness is a problem, why are you against these people wanting to get more out of life? If you're in a company with more than 500 employees, you get to work 32 hours instead of 40 hours. That means every everybody else is going to say, I only want to work 32 hours or I'm going to quit my job, okay? And the problem then is that after 32 hours, they're going to say, oh, I only want to work 25 hours. This is the beginning of the end as far as I'm concerned, okay? No now, Kyle Kielinski mentioned uh, what she meant. What this is the end of what, but I do understand what she's saying here. I guess I would have to say this is possible. However, you guys are opposed for the wrong reason. Obviously, nothing will ever get done if this does happen. Well, people aren't even looking at the big picture of economics and their life, which would show them that economics is only about production, not time worked or how hard. Conservatism has made hard work for a living into a religion. You are lazy and undeserving if you don't work hard or want to, while nothing should ever be free, which is really mean, which really means tax-based. The word free being their ideological buzzword. I'm all about the business owner dividing the profits equally among the employees, something that I'm sure you would, something that I'm sure would give you a heart attack. So you people don't want any kind of improvement for the lay person? Nobody wants to work anymore. Everybody's lazy. That's all I have to say. Nobody There's that other magic buzzword again, lazy. Because you've spoken to every laborer in America, right? I'm certain laziness would be your assessment for them all, even if you did talk to them, regardless of what reason they told you. These wants to work. The Everyone's asylum lazy. workers are dressed better than these people. <laughs> That's right. you, you know, the... Uh, the problem with keeping businesses open, Greg, is is critical. Now, I mean, the the restaurants close now Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the, you know, they shorten hours. Uh, there's no one. It's destroying my social life, and that's when when it starts when it starts yeah. hurting me. I care. But you know what? 
your honesty is very, it's just surprising. That alone sums conservatism up. You don't give a fuck about anything that affects them. It's called narcissism. I think they realize, they realize in a 40 hour week, 40 hour week, maybe at most you work 32 hours. Right. You know what the thing is? They're... Okay, I had to go over that one a few more, a few times. You said there were 32 hours in a 40 hour work week? Or did I misunderstand something there? Even if he's right, what's this opposition about then? This proposal isn't changing anything, according to what he just said. There's a lot of inefficiency built yep. in the in the, the workplace, including even coming and going to work. Yep. Having a, I, I never understood a lunch hour, but then again, I don't have kids. I don't need to run to the you know to do errands. Right. So I just sit around and I, I always have you know my assist. I pull a Jesse and have my assistant do. It. Uh. A lunch break doesn't provide enough time for employees to run errands. Maybe you should, maybe you would know that if you've ever actually worked. It's barely enough fucking time to do just that. Eat lunch. You're an asshole. Everything. But you know what? This is going to be this is going to end up turning us into a virtual reality cocoon. Everybody's just going to evolve into staying home. They're going to get everything they need at their house. They're going to get really large. And the only people what? that are going to... So nobody will have time to get exercise. Or are you suggesting they won't even try to? That would be an insulting assumption, wouldn't it? And generalization. Who knows? Being off work more would cause them to spend more money. Didn't think of that, did you? But wait, you just said that you won't... You just said they won't actually be working less hours. So what do you want about? Going to be in the outside world or the people who can't afford the inside world. That's right. Jesse had. What? They'll be making the same salary, jackass. Wow, you are fucking stupid. As the the appearance of Ferris Bueller type person, but he works very hard right now. Thanks, Geraldo. Was that a question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I think, Geraldo. I've stopped caring about the millennials californians oh. <laughs> here's why i used to feel sorry for california i used to try to fix california we have to do this we have to do that no nope. what do we care yep they voted for these wouldn't this proposal wouldn't this proposal be an attempt to fix their state or is it because you just don't like their proposal what do you suggest I don't expect anything from you after your thing with the anti-work Reddit representative. People, right. this is a democracy. It's on you guys. If you guys want to have homeless tent cities with meth heads running so around shut up, and then. get free food and free cash, you guys do you. We'll be normal in the rest of the 49. We can't help California. So what's the point of this echo chamber disgruntlement you guys are calling a show then? Fuck. They have to help themselves. They got a lot of are we gaining like France? They do have, a, but not ours. That's fine. You are the ones whining, not California. Funny that you say that. I wrote France right here on my favorite because if yep. you want to be more like France, there's a, like, eat more croissants. Don't go this route. The other thing is they did in France. If what? you look at their economy, they're terrible. But also, for a while, they were like, well, we don't really want to. Put our defense money in a NATO because it's like we want to. What the fuck does NATO have, have, have to do with anything? Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to do a French accent. Um, <laughs> you're not allowed. Yes, you are. The employer is not allowed to contact you on the weekend. It is illegal for an email to be sent to you on the weekend in France, for example. And wow. here's the other thing: if a company thinks that they can attract more talent by saying you're going to work 32 hours a week at this salary, great. But the government. I agree that employers emailing on weekends is absurd, but what's your fucking point? That's France's business, not yours. How is American conservatism any better? Damn, this was so stupid. Unbelievable. <laughs>